Hello, my name is Scott Engert, and welcome to your 30th HTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to add a gradient to the background of our home page. So let's open up Notepad++, and we're going to just click on the home page and launch, in, not in Safari, oops, no, launch in Chrome. Okay, we have a black background, but I want to change that so it's it's kind of a gradient. It goes from a black to a, a, a or from a gray, dark gray to a black color at the bottom. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go into Notepad plus plus, and we're gonna go into our CSS style sheet. And if I remember correctly, up at the top we have a our paragraph tag up there in the body tag and for inside the background we have I have it set to six zeros which is black. But what we want what we want to do is we want to this will only work for Google Chrome and so, uh, Safari. So we're gonna put a hyphen web kit hyphen gradient. Then we're gonna put a uh, in parenthesis, linear, comma, zero percent, space, zero percent, comma, zero percent, one hundred percent, comma, from, and this is going to be our first color, which is, uh, I, I have for, I have three, 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 three. three. Then we're going to close that parenthesis, comma, two, and this is going to be our second uh, color, which is, I have was black, so zero, 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 zero. And we're going to close that parenthesis, and then we're going to close the entire parenthesis, then we're going to put a semicolon, and we're going to save. And we're going to go into Chrome and refresh. And I put something in wrong. So let me check this out. Web cut gradient. I'll be right back. So hey guys, I, I, fig I figured out that I forgot when you do vertical or when you do horizontal gradient for the body, is it, there, there's a problem with it. So, but you can do it sideways. So what we want to do instead of having these two colors, we're gonna make this one white. So we're just gonna put six Fs, control save. Let me go back in here. It's still uh, vertical and that looks really weird as is. Let's go back into Notepad Plus Plus, and we're going to change this, to this one, to no, not that one, 50. And then Control and Save, and refresh. And as you can now see, we have nice gradient color that goes from one color to or on one side to one color on the other side. But I think it looked better the other way, so let's change this to the reverse. And this one to the apps. Control save. Refresh in Chrome. And yes, that looks better. Okay. Well, you can do this with any of these backgrounds, and these ones actually should work correctly. So let's just test that one out. Let's go in for our. We'll do our body one. Let's go find our body. We're gonna change. We're, gonna, we're just gonna copy our HTML, our CSS from up here. So we're gonna go copy all of that. Control copy. We're gonna go by our body. Where's the body? Right here. We're just gonna Control V that there, and we want to make this zero again. Gonna save that just to make it 
sure. I'm gonna go over here where we're gonna find our, our original background. I'm gonna change that to 00 CCFF. And then we're gonna change this one and make this one the same as our border. So 246BB2. Save. Now we're gonna go refresh in Chrome and we should have it looking. Huh. Oh, we have to control X that, and we're going to paste that over our background right here. Control V, Control S, and refresh in here. And now it has a gradient, which makes it look correct. But correct. So, I still haven't figured out why the background doesn't work correctly. I, I think that's universal with all of, uh, of the browsers that it doesn't view correctly when you have this little background on the entire body of the HTML. Uh, but, I guess that'll be all I'll be teaching you in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. I'm, I'm thinking about doing uh, just me recording me making a website for my new 3D designing and all that. Leave a comment on what you think. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Please leave comments, like, share with a friend, buddy, get, me a, get these videos out there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.